Do you ever go um, like camping or anything? Have you ever done that? Do you see moths when you go camping? What do, what do moths do? They get attracted to light and fly around. They're kind of interesting to watch at night, aren't they? Do you know what moths eat? They really seem to like wool a lot. <laughs> It sounds like a really strange thing. I have no idea why moths like it, but do you know what moths will eat? They'll eat your clothes. I don't know how moths get in there. I don't know how they're attracted to clothes, but sometimes if you leave clothes in a certain place, moths will eat them. And you know the moth has been there because they leave a hole where they've been. <laughs> and this is one of my very favorite sweaters. My sister gave it to me. And look at, look at, can you see that hole? There wasn't something that punctured that hole. You can kind of tell by the way the hole is. A moth ate that because they were hungry for wool for some reason. Now, if I were to put this in a giant cedar chest, the moths wouldn't eat it. And I don't know why, but they don't like cedar. So you can get cedar balls or things like that and put them in, and somehow that protects that from the moths, so the moths won't eat it. Kind of interesting, huh? So if we were looking at other things that we were going to try and protect, this is a banker's box, so we'll pretend, <laughs> we'll pretend that it's like a giant bank. So if we're going, what kinds of things do we put in a bank? Money, right? And so, what do they? Um, what What does a bank have to do to like keep the money safe? Yeah, like a safe. Like there's like a giant lock on it. And why would they even do that? So people don't steal because there's a lot of money, and they they think, wow, somebody might want that, right? So we there's things that we have that are like physical things, and we have to do things on Earth to protect those things. Otherwise, like our, our moths can eat up all our clothes, or people can steal our money. But the really cool things is that there's something that God gives us that it just absolutely doesn't matter. Moths can't get at it. Someone can't come and steal it. Do you know what that? Inside, I got this, got this thing that reminds us. <laughs> you can't see it. It says forever on it. And yes, it is purple. <laughs> Two churches ago, people at Bethany gave that to me to remind me that our love would last forever. Um, but it, it reminds us that God's love really is the thing that lasts forever. Right? And, it, and nothing can come in to destroy that. Moths can't come in and eat it. They might literally eat this pillow. But moths can't come in and eat it. Somebody can't steal it. We don't have to worry about protecting it. Because it lasts forever and ever and ever. And it never, ever, ever runs out. And sometimes we might do something and we might have to say, I'm sorry to God. But then God will say, that's okay. I love you. And I forgive you. And that, that lasts with, with God, we might say. It kind of is like it's with us and with God in heaven. And it, and it lasts forever. So when we have God's love, we don't have to just protect it. We don't have to just keep it to ourselves. Part of the thing about having it is that then we share it. And I can give it to you. And you can give it to him. And you can pass it to Norma. <laughs> and we keep passing it around. And we keep sharing it. Thank you. And I feel so good because she gives some back. And that's the great thing. We don't have to hold it. We don't have to put it in a box. We don't have to lock it up in a safe. And so some of the things we do with God's love is what we say, like, love in action. And that's one of the things that Pastor Norman is going to tell us about results about because he works with people who are homeless and he works with people who, who really have need. And one of the ways we can help them is to share God's love with them and say, oh, what do you need? How can I help you? And we do that because we have God's love inside and we want to share it with them. So that's one thing we can remember. God's love will never run out. Nothing can ever steal it or take it away. When we have it, we don't have to protect it. We can share it. 